With Manlyhood, we're curating chunks of manly wisdom for you. Today's chunks of manly wisdom are quotes from Ernest Hemingway. Are you ready to live life to the full? Are you ready to rise up and live a life of honor? Are you ready to boldly step into a life of courage? This is the Manlyhood Mancast, and here's your host, Josh Atcher. If you're like a lot of men, sometimes you might find yourself short on time, and reading a bunch of books takes a lot more time than you've got. So we're going to take and give you the Campbell's Soup version. We're going to boil it down and give you the best quotes today from Ernest Hemingway. And listen, if you are appreciating this, if you like getting this kind of content, if you like reading quotes, you like taking and boiling down to the most important part of something, we've got a gift for you. If you go to manlyhood.com slash chunk, you can download our book of 500 chunks of manly wisdom. Uh, love it if you check it out. Also, guys, if you want to connect and become a better man, you want to level up and step into all that it means to be a man and to have some brothers who've got your back, uh, you can join the Manlyhood Man Cave. We'd love to have you there. So go to Facebook and go to Manlyhood Man Cave, and you can sign up to be a part of that, answer a couple questions. We'll admit you in the group and... We're there to help build each other up and to help grow. I'd love to have you. Gentlemen, today's chunks of manly wisdom are coming from Ernest Hemingway, so let's read these quotes. First of all, I want to say, uh, as usual, I don't agree with anybody on everything. So I might not have uh, perfect agreement with everything Ernest Hemingway says or does, or said or did, rather. He's passed away a long time ago, obviously, but... We can learn from him. He's well regarded as a man's man. And I do think he's got some great wisdom that we can learn from today. He says, there's no friend as loyal as a book. He also says, happiness in intelligent people is the rarest thing I know. In Men Without Women, he says, the most painful thing is losing yourself in the process of loving someone too much. And forgetting that you are special too. There's some truth in that. I can't tell you how many people I've seen who lose themselves uh, into somebody else. You know, they, they pour everything into this relationship and they get their sense of value from this other person. You guys, your worth and your value is in you. The other person, the woman that you're dating, the, the, the wife that you have uh, joined together with, she can't give you your value. She can't give you your worth. And if you pour everything into her without still working on who you are, you will fade. And you forget that you matter as well. I'm not saying you have to be first. I'm not saying you have to be the most important. I'm saying don't sink everything you've got into that boat. Hemingway says the best way to find out if you can trust somebody is to trust them. Yeah, how about that one? Uh, you know, we live our life not trusting anybody and holding everything close. Well, nobody has the chance to prove themselves then. There's nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. I like this a lot. You know, there's this tendency, and I know men do it a lot, especially when they're younger where they spend a lot of time tearing other people down, bullying people, pointing out everybody else's flaws, being overly critical. Guess what? You're not any better than anybody else. Be humble. And if you're going to be better than somebody, be better than who you used to be. That's what Hemingway's saying here. He also says, always do sober what you said you'd do drunk. That'll teach you to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I mean, I think it just might be wise not to get drunk so you don't say stupid things, but the point here, and I mean, Hemingway obviously didn't live by that same code that I live by, but uh, the point to that, though, guys, is your 
mouth will say stupid things if you let it get under if you let it get out of control keep it under control watch what you say back up the words you say and if you're willing to say something that you're not willing to do then just don't say it Hemingway also says the world breaks everyone and afterward many are strong at the broken places this reminds me so much of the art of kintsugi where you take uh, a broken pot. This is a Japanese art form where they would take a broken pot and they would put it back together with melted gold or melted silver. And then that pot is then stronger where it was broken. And it's beautiful. You know, the same is true, guys, when your bone breaks. Sometimes when it heals back again, it heals back stronger than it was. And I think it's true in our lives as well. Hemingway also says the first draft of anything is shit. <laughs> Sorry about the language, but it's kind of true. You know, he's a writer, he's an author, and so he's obviously writing about that in its framework, but how true of it is it of life? You know, the first time you do something, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be the best. It's, it kind of goes back to this thing we've talked about before where failure is your teacher Failure isn't the end. Failure is the opportunity to learn so you can do it better. In The Sun Also Rises, Hemingway says, you can't get away from yourself by moving from one place to another. This reminds me of wisdom I learned from my old friend Tom Pauls, who passed away many years ago. He said, everywhere you go, there you are. You know, it's the truth. If you've got a problem and you think by leaving your job or leaving your church or leaving your family, that your problem is going to get better. It doesn't. It follows you. Work on you. I think that will make things better. Hemingway says, every man's life ends the same way. It is only the details of how he lived and how he died that distinguish one man from another. He says, forget your personal tragedy. We're all bitched from the start, and you especially have to be hurt like hell before you can write seriously. But when you get the damned hurt, use it. Don't cheat with it. I think it's the truth here, guys, is that we... I know it's, there's a tendency, especially in, in creators, people who are doing what I'm doing, whether they're podcasters or, or writers or whatever, we... We don't let our hurt teach us, and we don't let our hurt inform the work that we're doing. We wallow in it. And the truth is that everybody's life is screwed up. Everybody's life has something broken in it. So rather than wallowing in it, how about we use it to make life better? How about we use that pain to make us stronger? Instead of wallowing in it. Hemingway said this, and it's related. He said, write hard and clear about what hurts. He also said, all you have to do is write one true sentence. Write the truest sentence that you know. As a writer, I can really appreciate that. I think somewhere along the lines, we have accepted this idea that, that uh, truth is relative. The truth is your truth and my truth. That's nonsense. There is truth. And I think when we start speaking or writing or acknowledging truth, that's where the real power is. Hemingway also says, never confuse movement with action. We can get busy. We can get so busy doing the stuff that we think that we're actually doing something. How about we do something worth doing from the start? In A Farewell to Arms, which is one of Hemingway's greatest books, he says, No, that is the great fallacy, the wisdom of old men. They do not grow wise. They grow careful. And that is very true. <laughs> he says, When people talk, listen completely. Most people never listen. If you can learn to listen, guys, you will be... Uh, a very valuable man because you already set yourself ahead of the rest of the pack. Everybody is always concerned about what they have to say. 
what they can add, what they can put in, or what they can take. Nobody's actually ever really listening to others. You will be a star if you just learn to listen to people. In The Old Man in the Sea, Hemingway says this, Every day is a new day. It is better to be lucky, but I would rather be exact. Then when luck comes, you are ready. Very true there as well. You know, we all think about luck happening to us. But if we're not prepared, what does that luck get us? We need to do the work. We need to have the discipline. We need to be prepared. We need to do the steps. So that if we get lucky, we can actually be ready for it. Hemingway also said this in The Old Man in the Sea. Man is not made for defeat, he said. A man can be destroyed, but not defeated. That's my encouragement to you today, guys. That's what I think Hemingway wants us to know. You don't have to be defeated. You don't have to lose. You know, I know people say, well, don't be a loser. No, I mean, like, you actually just don't have to. Don't let the world come crashing down on you. Don't let everything fall apart. And if it does, you don't fall apart. Now, I'm not saying that you can't have a breakdown and you can't have emotional struggles or that you can't have pain. I'm saying, don't let it win. Don't let it take you. Fight like hell. Listen, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to listen to the manly chunks of wisdom from Ernest Hemingway. If you appreciate this kind of content, we've got a book for you. It's 500 chunks of manly wisdom. You can get it at manlyhood.com slash chunk. Make sure you join the Manlyhood Man Cave, guys, where you can connect with other men. We're going to grow together and become better men together. That's on Facebook. Just type in Manlyhood Man Cave and join that group. I'd love to have you there. And please share this episode with some friends if you think they'll get something out of it. I love you guys. I care about you. And I'll see you next time. If you want to be a better man, check out our website, manlyhood.com, for blogs, videos, and more from our Manlyhood team. And you can also join our private Facebook group, Manlyhood Man Cave, where you can meet up with a band of brothers who will challenge you and help you on your journey of manhood. This episode is produced by Hatcher Media for manlyhood.com. Be sure to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes, YouTube, or wherever you're listening to the show. Tune in again for more of the Manlyhood Mancast.